Heads up, if you have an eating disorder, you might want to give this video a skip because I am going to be talking about diets. What you put into your body matters. Eating too many calories can make you fatter. Eating too few calories can make you thinner. Eating a lot of protein can build your muscles. Uh, carbs can give you energy. Fats can help you absorb nutrients better. Uh, but also too much of some things can royally fuck you up, like sugar, for instance, which is starting to be studied more and more, much to the chagrin of big sugar, which is an actual lobby trying to make it so that we eat more sugar and don't realize how bad it is for us. I've talked about this kind of thing before. Um, last year, I made a video about studies suggesting that eating a lot of ultra processed foods might make you want to eat more and feel like shit. Uh, this video is going to be related to that. I highly recommend you check out that video first. Um, there are a lot of claims of what bad diets can do to you uh, that aren't necessarily very well founded. So let's start with the takeaway from this video, because I don't want you to walk away with misinformation. There is no solid evidence that eating a Western diet can fuck up your memory. However, a new study claims that eating a Western diet can fuck up your memory, uh, which I saw over on good old Yahoo Sports. Uh, it's ironic because I, a Westerner, had definitely forgotten that Yahoo existed. I suppose my diet is to blame. Uh, this was an Australian study in which they had 55 students eat a Western style diet. I can already feel some of you getting annoyed about this. Like, what the fuck is a Western style diet? There's no way that people in the United States are eating the same diet that people in France and Greece are eating. And that's true. It's a bad name for what is actually a pretty fair stereotype of what people in the United States tend to eat and what we influence many other cultures to start eating through the proliferation of KFCs and McDonald's around the world. So to emulate a Western diet, they had their subjects eat something horrible each day for eight days. <laughs> On the first and last days, uh, that was a breakfast that included a toasted sandwich and a milkshake. Yes, a milkshake for breakfast. But I don't drink milkshakes for breakfast, you cry with your Western tears. Oh, don't you? Because a 16 ounce milkshake from Whataburger is 420 calories. <laughs> ha. Uh, but a 16 ounce iced white chocolate mocha from Starbucks is also 420 calories, but with way more fat. And don't even get me started on like the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino blended beverage. Face it, maybe you don't drink milkshakes for breakfast, but a whole lot of Americans do. For days two through seven, subjects had to eat two entire Belgian waffles on four of the days. And on the other two days, they had to buy something from a fast food restaurant consisting of a main meal plus a drink or dessert. For the rest of their meals, they were instructed to eat as they usually do. A control group was asked to eat the day one and eight sandwich milkshake combo, but with fewer calories, fat, and sugar, but then just eat like normal the rest of the week. Researchers then gave all of the subjects memory tests. They also asked them how much they enjoyed the food they were eating and whether or not they wanted to eat more. Here's why. The hypothesis they had is that the Western diet damages the hippocampus. That region of your brain is what's responsible for appetite control and also for memory. Uh, I reported before in that previous video uh, how people tend to eat a lot more when they eat ultra processed food, even if they didn't like the taste of the food that much. Well, maybe, the researchers think, this is because these foods damage the hippocampus, making it so that even though you're full, you still want more of a food, regardless of how much you liked it while you were eating it. We can test that by seeing if people eating this diet also have memory problems, since that's also done by the hippocampus. 
The study found that, yes, the people who were on the Western diet were more likely to screw up their memory test and more likely to want more food regardless of how much they liked it. So what's the issue with the study? Well, I've got a few. Uh, to start, this group experienced a drastic change in diet. Uh, they came into the study with a healthy BMI of 22 and then began eating an estimated daily calorie intake of 2,420 calories or 10,127.4 kilojoules every day. That's an insane amount of calories to eat every day uh, when you have a BMI of 22. According to the stats uh, given for the average participant, they were probably eating a max of about 2,000 calories a day prior to the study, being mostly women who are on average about five foot three in Australia, uh, with a BMI of 22 with moderate to active exercise. That is a huge change in the number of calories they're eating. And this study doesn't tell us if people fuck up on memory tests when you drastically change their diet for a week. The control group stayed on their usual diet, but there's no third group that suddenly dropped 420 calories a day, for instance, or ate an extra 420 calories a day, but made up of lean fish and vegetables which would be very difficult, but you could do it. Uh, so maybe it was just the calories, or maybe it was the higher fat, or maybe it was the higher sugar, or maybe it was a combination of the higher fat and the higher sugar. Again, the study doesn't tell us that because that group only ate more calories, more fat, and more sugar compared to the other group, which had none of those. Um, it doesn't make the study bad, it just means that there's a lot of additional work to be done. Finally, I want to note that there might have been a little pee hacking going on here. Uh, the test the Western diet group failed was a verbal word memory test. Uh, they also took a test on logical memory, and there was no difference between the two groups. If you look at several possible outcomes, but only find one uh, that is statistically significant, that means that before we make any decisions based on this, we're going to need follow-up tests uh, that we can just look at that one outcome so you can drill down and see if it was a statistical blip, especially when you only have 55 people in each group, and especially when it's based on only one week of diet change. So no, don't worry about your shitty diet screwing up your memory just yet. Feel free to continue to worry about your shitty diet screwing up the rest of your life. Uh, like me, for instance, when I eat too many calories and put on weight and then my back goes out and then for the next year, I can't stand for more than five minutes at a time. Man, you just got to love the human body, don't you? Wait, what was I talking about? Something about like diet, I think. Ah.